Good morning, everybody. I guess this is the ninth day that we've kind of had to suspend our uh, gatherings together. Just wanted to share with you all that I woke up this morning with a Bible passage on my heart. I know it's an odd thing for a pastor to do, right? Please listen. This comes from Matthew chapter 28. Now the eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had directed them. When they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came and said to them, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything that I have commanded you. And remember, I am with you always to the end of an age. I was reminded of the struggles of the, the disciples in the early days following his crucifixion and the strength that his reappearance brought to them. These men and women who followed and loved Jesus struggled to keep it together. They too were shut inside their homes because of fear and uncertainty. But Jesus, fulfilling his promise, delivered them hope in their darkest hour. Sure, they doubted even when they saw him, but they were encouraged by him and by one another and strengthened by the Holy Spirit. Jesus didn't promise them that their lives from that point would be comfortable or easy. He didn't promise that there wouldn't be hard days and dark moments ahead. He didn't place expectations on them that they continue to face each day with an abundant positivity. Yet, he commissions them to continue the work of being church together. But I can imagine their faces. If we looked at them, I would have probably read on their faces kind of an expression like, what, you want us to do that now of all times? I'm sure that's what Jesus saw. But Jesus also looked into their hearts and saw exactly what they needed to hear. So what did he do but respond to them with, Remember, I am always with you to the end of an age. Well, my friends, we're still in that age. Christianity has long taught that this age's end will come with the second coming of Christ. And, you know, I don't really know what that means or what that will look like. But I do know what it means for us is that we're still part of this ongoing story of the disciples and that Jesus' promise that he is with us continues today. And that brings me comfort. And I hope you too can find some comfort after ruminating on that idea too. We are in the place of the disciples. We are looking at a new reality with real fears of safety and uncertainty abounding in around every corner. Yet our commission remains the same. We're to continue to work, do the work of the church, and even when all this is hanging around us. Yes, the way we are church together has changed. We have distance between us. We have to find new ways to communicate and to express our love for one another. But didn't they also, didn't they also move into all the different corners of the world to preach and teach and heal broken people? They wrote letters to one another, they prayed for one another, and they stretched the arms of the body of Christ widely. In some ways, we can do that much more easily than they could. Technology has broadened our reach far and wide so that even on our hardest days, we can, be remember, we can remember and be reminded of the love that binds us together. Hold in your hearts that love. And remember the words of our Savior, who reminds you that he is always with you. And so I wonder if you can join me in prayer. Let us pray. Gracious God, help us in this time in our lives to remember the disciples, to remember the uncertainty in which they lived, but also how they were encouraged by the words of our Savior and Lord, who told us that he would always be with us. Let us be reminded of that daily, dear God, and the love that we share and the ways that we reach out and the ways that we continue to be church together. 
In your son's name we pray. Amen. Yes, that's my son yelling in the background. Please, friends, continue in good health and keep in touch. God bless you all. Talk to you soon. Bye.